are doing a book haul. We went to Half Price Books. Um, actually went two days in a row, so. Uh, but um, we got some good finds we want to show you. So check it out. She's going to go first, and then you'll see what I got. Okay. Hi, I'm Janice. Read the back of them. I just got books that I'd heard were good, and they were all on clearance, so I only spent a dollar. The first one is a, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. And I'm not totally certain, well I guess it tells you on the back it's about a boy that investigates the death of a neighborhood dog, And but it just seems really good. I'm very excited to read it. It says that it's um, to the Today Show book club selection. I haven't didn't read that before getting it. I just heard that it was good. And so I'm really excited about reading that one. And then the next one I got was Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. I've never read it and I just have always heard that it's a good book. So I'm not going to read this anytime soon, but I'm going to keep it um, for a day that I want to read a book and I don't know what I want to read. And then the next one is She Comes Undone by Wally Lamb. And I've not really, I've heard people speak of this author and talk about this book and say it's good. I had no idea what it's about. I do read that it's about a 257 pound woman and I love fat people, so I'm pretty <laughs> excited as a fat person, you know. I'm pretty excited to read it and just see her life. There's not enough books about fat women, um, and there's so many fat women that we definitely need stuff to read about so that we can relate to. And I'm pretty excited about that. And then the last one, and I just grabbed this one because of the title, but after reading the back of it, after getting back to the honest house, I'm super excited. This is gonna be the first one I read. Um, it's called To the Last Man I Slept With and All the Jerks Like Him. And the title just really pulled me in. It's by Gwendolyn Zapata. And um, it's about, I didn't know this before getting back because like I said, I didn't read the back. I don't know why, um, but she's from Houston, Texas and I'm from Houston, Texas. She's half Mexican and half white. I'm half Mexican and white. She hates clowns. I hate clowns. Like I think this book might be about me except for it's like autobiographical. autobiographical so it's supposed to be about her, but I'm really excited <laughs> to check it out. Except for she was raised by her dad and I was raised by my mom, but. That so. sounds really super good. I want to read that I'll definitely let you. It's super exciting. But those are the books that I got today. For four dollars. And That's if you've awesome. read these, like comment, comment, and let us know. Okay, so now we're gonna do <coughs> my stack of books. So I guess I'm gonna break them up into yeah, into like the two times I went. So these are from yesterday and these are from today. So all the yesterdays first. Um, all. All of this stuff but one is from the clearance section. So I got Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Sisters. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> they are sisters, yeah. Um, and that was only a dollar. And I got Fahrenheit 451 for oh this might have been yeah, this was like 350, so I guess that wasn't on clearance, but I really wanted it. And um, the Iliad, so I got that for two bucks. And this is my favorite find. So, Running with Scissors, the book by Augustine Burroughs, and the movie for three dollars total. No, awesome. yes, three dollars total. Freaking exciting! Great movie. I haven't read the book yet, but I love everything else I've read from him. And this is like top five favorite movies. So, watch it if you haven't watched it. Read it if you haven't read it. Hey, I'm so happy about this. Okay, um, and then today. I got hmm, Liberation by Brian Francis Slattery. Um, it says, after the collapse of the United States of America. So, um, oh, be, being the adventures of the Slick Six, I don't know, it's just about like, um, basically the economy crashes here and like everything that happens afterwards, not quite like dystopian, but kind of like pre-apocalyptic, pre-dystopian kind of thing. I don't know. But it sounds really interesting and I'm really into like, when America falls apart, you know, that kind of stuff. So, got that one for a dollar. And then I got another Augustine Burroughs book for a dollar, Magical Thinking. I haven't read this one, so that's gonna be exciting. Um, and the last thing I got was The Knife of Never Letting Go for five dollars. That's awesome. This is by Patrick Ness. And um, basically it's a sci-fi, Dystopian kind of thing. I wonder if it's yeah. We'll just go with sci-fi dystopian. And uh, so this guy's on another like everybody's on another planet. It takes place on another planet. 
and there everybody can hear each other's thoughts. And uh, so the main character finds a place that's completely silent. And uh, the story is basically like what happens after that for this guy. Um, so I don't know, I've just been hearing a lot of people talk about it and I really want to read it. And I found book one, so yay! <laughs> it's a book one of the Chaos Walking series, I don't know if I said that, but it's just a trilogy actually. But whatever, it's great, I'm glad I found it, and you should read it. And that is all for our half price haul. Half price book haul. Yeah. <laughs> pretty awesome so go check it out and like this video and subscribe yeah so thanks for watching everything will be down in the, in the description bar down below and uh see you next time bye, bye.